This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043. Okay, Starcrawler join us in the studio. We have Arrow and Henry from the band with us. They have a brand new song out uh, now called Learn to Say Goodbye. They are on tour now. You can get all the info at starcrawlermusic.com. Guys, I watched the video for this song, and I was thinking about, number one, when the video shoot was over, you must have been soaking wet. Uh, there must have been sand in your pants, mm. sand in your shoes. Yep. Oh, yeah. You shot yeah. this on a beach somewhere. Tell us about where that was and how that was. It was actually for shooting on the beach at night, an ideal scenario, because there was a crazy heat wave in L.A. recently. Oh, it was on L.A. Which beach was it? Um, It was... Like Venice or something? or Topanga. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a little spot in Topanga, um, and normally that would be, like, freezing and, like, totally miserable, and the only reason it was a little miserable was because of the sand, and there's, like, some sand crabs I was rolling around in, but, (laughs) um, but it was, like, I mean, it felt like we were in Florida. It was, like, 80 degrees, 90 degrees at night, so the water was really warm, so I was, like, I was in the water, but I, I was never cold or, like. You know, yeah, because I went. Fun. In, Honestly, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I went in the water mm. first time I went to LA. I was like, I got to go to the beach. Oh yeah, freezing. you know, and then the water was freezing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's normal. Yeah, so it was kind of crazy because I, I was still expecting the water to be really cold, and then I, got in like a little bit and didn't even feel when it, like. It was like it. bath water or something, Yeah, 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 right? exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, But that was really cool the way you did it because it wasn't like it was like officially lit or like little mm. spotlight mm-hmm. showing you yeah. sporadically, yeah. you know, coming yeah. into focus, out of focus. Mm-hmm. Uh, really cool. Um, and we have come to expect uh, from you guys, Starcrawler, catchy riffs, hooky riffs. They grab you right away, and this song uh, is no different. Learn to say goodbye. Um we have all been there, maybe a relationship, mm-hmm. maybe a family member, maybe uh, a band member. So who <laughs> or what are we talking about here? Learn to say goodbye. Or do we are we leaving that up to the listener? Kind of leaving it up to the listener. It wasn't necessarily like based on like an event that took place. Um, it was more we just started writing the song and kind of. I kind of just like the idea of, you know, there's a lot of, like, songs about letting people go, but I kind of like the idea of that, like, you know, you go through the stages of emotion when that happens, even if you're like, yeah, like, F this person or whatever, (laughs) but even if that's the case, I feel like you still, there's a moment of, like, no, like, you know, I don't want to, I, 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 you know, like, a selfish kind of, like, I'm going to stick it out. I want to, you know, no one can tell me, like, who I should hang out with, what I should do, blah, blah, yeah. blah. So I, I feel like that is, like, a, I don't know, something that people could probably relate to. Well, I think it's like um, a life lesson, really. Yeah. Because you, you got to, everyone's <laughs> got to do it, right, at some point in their yeah. lives. Um, <laughs> you recorded this song at the Foo Fighters studio, 606 in L.A. Why is it called 606? Is, is it from the board from... Sound City or something like that, or do you know? Or I believe he's had the fascination. Dave's had the fascination with the number six of six. I think it had something to do with John Bonham. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I don't but, honestly know. Really, I didn't. I should ask. Should ask that. But yeah, I think it, I think I read because I read his book, which was really good. Yeah, yeah, totally. I think it's if I remember correctly, it's something. Yeah, yeah. There, there's success. a meaning behind. There's definitely there's a meaning, a meaning but yeah. I didn't. I didn't think to ask. <laughs> well, so that must have been cool going in that studio. <laughs> oh, I know the man, equipment is like so ridiculous, fun. right? Yeah. Like, I mean, we got to use their drum kits, their amps, and so it was just a really incredible experience. And the engineer who we met a couple years ago, uh, Oliver, uh, who we met recording with Perry Farrell and T- Taylor Hawkins. Oh, okay. Um, and so it was a really cool full circle when he invited us in to come record there. Um, did he pop his head in at all? Did Dave uh, pop his head in and They're say hello? Tour. Oh, they were on tour. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of which, you guys have toured the world now for years. Tell us some of the highlights. Uh, maybe a favorite venue or city or country, uh, and maybe the difference <laughs> between the audiences. Mm, shoot. You know, it's really interesting. It's uh, hard to pick a favorite. Yeah, I yeah. really like going yeah. to Japan and Australia. Yeah, that's always. I mean, Japan. It's like, I just was 
my one of my favorite. Is it true ever. what they say about the audiences? They're very polite, and then they all clap, and then they stop clapping, and it's they wait. It's true for bands that aren't us. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what we thought. That's what everyone said, and I was going like, I don't really care. Like, Japan, I don't, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, like the first time we went out to play there, it was like the opposite of it was like raucous crazy. like crazy yeah like some of the craziest crowds we ever had like wow um and like also not really knowing like it's not like they're moshing like it's not like a pit would open up they just are all moving in different ways and going crazy and like jumping up and down and if you are like say hey they all hey you know they all oh like, wow yeah, okay you clap they all like start clapping and shit so oh fantastic um talk about maybe meeting or even playing with some of your rock and roll perhaps idols since you guys have been doing this anyone stand out in particular like i can't believe i met him or i can't believe i played with him or i said hello to you know, him a or... really cool one on this tour was for a bit we were following jack white for a second aha uh-huh. be like we'd they'd play one day and we'd play the next day at the same venue and in Portland, we got to go to the sh- their show because we had a day off beforehand. Yeah. It was a really great show, and we got to meet Elvira. Oh, yeah. Next to Elvira. <laughs> that so that cool. was really cool. <laughs> wow. Um, I was all nerdy. I was like, can I get a photo? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Come on. She's legendary. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. And just, you know, seeing him, and we got to tour with him a bit last year and the year okay. before that. And so amazing performance yeah. I like everything about that guy I like everything oh, yeah. he did he pro- like I, I mean I'm talking like from the guitars to the amplifiers yeah. to the furniture oh and third man records and... yeah and just the DIYness of it and you think about it, like even seeing records out there you know people are selling yeah. in records that didn't happen you know in 2005 really, well he's got know? like a pressing plant like right yeah, there in he Nashville really did and... bring it kind of back up and coming and now you know all these pop artists are reissued we're doing records, you know, Taylor Swift selling records. Oh, yeah, totally. It's, yeah. it's moved vinyl to the forefront, even if people aren't listening to them, you know, it's they just want a them. thing. They just want them now. Yeah, yeah. totally. But, uh, we are in the studio with Starcrawler. We got Arrow and Henry from the band with us. They're on tour now. You can get all the info right now, starcrawlermusic.com. We have a new song from the band. Uh, they're going to play here in a couple minutes. Uh, is there going to be more new music coming from the band, maybe oh, yeah. this year or early 2025? Yes. Definitely, yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, you'll be back in New York City, I hope, to oh, just yeah. Yeah, melt sure. our faces. Okay. Ho- hopefully sooner than later. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043.